Just say Singapore. Okay, okay. Come on. Alright. All right. Hi, do come down for the Toronto Singapore Film Festival. Singapore Films. Australia! Hi, do come down for the Singa. Sorry. <laughs> do I look into the camera? I should, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, you're okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. One, two, three, go. Hi, do come down for the Toronto Singapore Film Festival. Singapore Films. Australia! What? I look at you or look at that? Okay. So, uh, can you hear me? This is good? Okay, awesome. Hi, my name is Yao Tong Chia and I'm the founder and festival director of the Toronto Singapore Film Festival. No, this is the third year we are running the festival. Well, the reason is because um, there isn't. I you come over here, I don't get to see much of Singaporean films down here. Of course, there's also another more uh, private reason. I actually produce a short film, and uh, one of the filmmakers is here today. Uh, we want uh, directed by one of the filmmakers who's here today for the third Toronto to Singapore Film Festival, and uh, we're thinking like, why uh, wait for a film festival? Let's do a film festival, and you can't do a film festival with just one film, right? So we had to have other films, and that's how it started. Is it the biggest yeah. film festival ever? You say this year. Yep. So far, this is the biggest ever because the first year is only short films. We only had uh, like seven short films, and the, the following year is a one-day uh, uh, event. And last year it was also one day, and it was like uh, feature films. But this year we have uh, 23 films, six features, and 17 short films, and we have a party. Uh, this year too, so it's really gone and grew and uh, became bigger. Yes, precisely. We uh, uh, invited uh, some to come. Not everyone was able to come though, unfortunately, because of uh, commi work commitment and filming commitment. But this year we have four directors who are here with us at the festival and they will be introducing their films uh, on Saturday and Sunday and there will be Q&A session as well. Um, the film industry in Singapore at the moment is still in a um, adolescent stage, I would say, adolescent, uh, because um, it it kind of uh, picked up after 1990s, and uh, there were film that actually won awards in uh, various festivals like Cannes and. Khan's Film Festival, for example, and uh, Busan. So um, it's coming up, but still, um, it's still new. So um, the strategy is to make films that will not just speak to Singaporeans, but films that will speak to a universal audience. That uh, and and, and um, also have collaborations with um, with filmmakers uh, in different parts of the world. Let me give you an example, like um, example like uh, um, Home Song Stories. Is one example. It was uh, financed by Singapore, uh, by uh, Singapore, but uh, with uh, with also with uh, people in Australia as well and Hong Kong. Another example would be one of the films that we are showing, uh, which is uh, Feet Unbound, which is made by Singaporeans. The directors are Singaporeans, but it uh, has uh, money and funding from Australia, and it was filmed in China. So I think the way to go ahead, um, not just for Singapore, I think, but for for uh, film film as a whole is more um, collaborations and inter in, in, uh, collaborations with filmmakers of different countries and not just one country.